Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading, a secret revealed by your spirit guides. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. We're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. So pile one, we have the moth. In pile two, we have the black egg. And pile three, we have the frog. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you'll find the timestamps shared in the commentary section. And I will see you guys in your sub readings. Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your reading. So let's just put your tarot deck to the side and we're gonna start with your oracle cards. You first of all felt drawn to this beautiful moth and I had to Google it, it's a Luna moth and actually it only has a lifespan of one week uh, after it leaves its cocoon and it actually doesn't even eat, it doesn't have a mouth, it doesn't have a di digestive system because yeah, it only had, lives for a week so it's not necessary I guess. So that was some interesting facts. Also the moth is always kind of drawn to the light, drawn to the shiny things. And yeah, let's see how that fits into the reading. You have the unseen. Hmm. The unseen. Okay. You have release. Hmm. I think <laughs> I think something is gonna come pretty quickly and go because we said one week lifespan here. I'm, I just feel like there's going to be a quick release of something that is pretty unexpected maybe from your side. Yeah, pretty unexpected. An unexpected release of something unseen. Hmm, and it's going to help you. It's going to help you to ascend into the light. Like we see here, like the moth, it's uh, moving towards the light. But also because it has one week lifespan, it dies, you know? So that makes me think it's gonna be a quick, some kind of quick transformation coming into your life and helping you ascend into the light, into a better place. And I feel like this release, we have fall here. So it could be that this happens uh, at fall time, autumn is starting soon when I'm when I'm recording this reading, but it is a timeless reading So whenever you're watching it, but yeah release Hmm, and you know fall also stands a lot for harvest time. So I think it's like you're releasing something and also Getting something it's very like you it feels like you you have no clue <laughs> yeah, it feels like you have no clue that this is happening. It could be that you're feeling it, like you're sensing something. It could even be that you have like a, some kind of a pain, not, yeah, pain, you know, maybe headache because the unseen, maybe your third eye is opening up, maybe you're releasing something, uh, you know, maybe you're getting clarity over a situation or, you know, stomach pain. Like, it feels like this kind of like something is uh, moving. It's like some energy is also moving in your body and it, you could be feeling that as a certain pain or pressure or, you know, when it starts buzzing in the ears or you just, you're just, it could be that you're just sensing something or you just feel like there is, yeah, you're just sensing something. But I feel like, yeah, the unseen, I feel like, it's 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 like your spirit guide is saying like yeah you yeah, you don't see this good thing coming here. <laughs> they're kind of like saying yeah they're saying like yeah, something good is really coming here. So let's see what else we got. We have conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Yeah. Hmm. So full moon eclipse. I think also the full moon, the next coming full moon 
So yeah, it's also now I think it's soon in a couple of months or during the fall time. So it could be that you're releasing something here, but within reach, I feel like this is going to happen soon. Like something very, very positive, like a very positive release, transformation. And this is going, like I said, help you kind of push you into the light, uh, into some kind of a death and rebirth. Hmm. The unseen. So we have, oh yeah, let's see here. <laughs> let's do them in the right order. Atlantis with dolphin. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. Yeah, wow. Whew, there is a lot of things going on. There is, and the dolphins feel, feel it feels like they're swimming towards you. Something is coming right towards you and helping you release, helping you transform, helping you move on. I, I, it's hard. I don't know if it's move on. I, it's like I see you just like shedding skin maybe or something like that or something opening up, helping you open up a door, like a gateway, a door, an opportunity. But something is opening up here. Hmm. And I, I feel like you're getting help from the universe. You're getting help from your spirit guides. You're getting help kind of from your divine sacred soul here. Dolphin. You know, the unseen made me think the eye here. It made me think of the third eye. But, you know, with the dolphin is also the ears. So, yeah, it could be that you're, 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 it's like you could feel like a pressure in your head or in your ears or something like that right now because it's kind of opening up. For some of you, this is kind of like a spiritual upgrade happening. Like your third eye opening up, crown chakra opening up, throat chakra opening up, something like that. And for some of you, I feel like this is going to help you open up a door to some kind of opportunity that you need to leave the past behind, to leave the darkness behind, you know, so some situation in your life where it, it has been a bit troublesome, you've been seeking the light, you know, <laughs> always seeking the light, but it kind of feels like some shadows has been following you, chasing you, you know, following you. So I feel like this is going to help you fully release a past situation or a situation that you are stuck in that has been kind of holding you back from fully uh, feeling good about how your life is going. Maybe you are also experiencing some kind of lack or something like that. Hmm. Let's look at the last two cards. The green man and moss ag agate. Ritual and ceremony. New spirit guides. Tree wisdom. Tree wisdom. The roots. Yeah, so we, <laughs> I just put it here. We have two trees here. So the green man. Hmm. And moss agate, ritual and ceremony. Yeah, there's something coming here. Oh my God, look at this. There's something with a dolphin Atlantis and ritual and ceremony, new spirit guides, tree wisdom. I really feel like something is coming here. And you are like doing your thing here. You know, you're living your life. <laughs> you kind of, yeah, you don't see this coming. It's gonna come. And what I feel is coming here is like some kind of deep healing or release. And I really feel like, yeah, you're ready. You are ready for, for like a level up, step up, change, release this. <laughs> hmm. It's like you're holding on. I see you holding on like to a past. I don't know. I feel like you're holding on to something. And I feel like how, I feel like the thing that you're holding on to, maybe you're, you're not even consciously, consciously holding on to that. But there's like a rope. Go. I see like a rope that is like... Uh, it's it's like in your hand, like a big thick rope. You're holding it in your hand, and it's like you don't see you're holding it. And so this could be something very subconscious, or I don't know what, something like that. And I see how this is being like they are like put taking it out of your hand, and it's kind of like I see you walking into freedom and light. And yeah, you just walk away. I just see you walking away. So I really feel like you're going, you're, whatever this is, I really feel like you're leaving something troublesome behind. <laughs> um, hmm. What's the last card here? Celebration. Wow. Look at that. 
bliss, joy, delight. So for some of you, like you could, it could even be that this is happening. Like a lot of things is happening. Your spirit guides are really, really working with you. And uh, you don't even know this. Like you're living your life. Everything is good. All of a sudden you have this great opportunity helping you out or you're getting some great news or something like that. Uh, or you're just happen to be uh, at the right place in the right time. And because of that, something is kind of, given to you that is helping you move on like you get a piece of information or you get in touch with somebody that will give you like a tip about a job or like a house or like something that you need I feel like there's something that you need um that's coming here and it could even be like I said for some of you you're not even gonna know the work they did to get to bring this to you and it, it really doesn't matter you know you're the most important thing is that you are fine and okay and that you have released this past difficulty here because i feel like yeah they are really working now your spirit guides to move you forward uh to yeah move you forward and i really see like i see like as soon as it's, it's i see you running into the future <laughs> i see you you don't even stop to talk to me like i'm trying kind of like to channel your energy or something but you're off you're gone you're like yeah i'm gonna go into my new experience now so i really feel like uh, there's going to be like a big shift something big in your life happening something yeah there's something big coming into your life either you're gonna get like some life changing opportunity or change and i feel this to be very positive like, yeah, I, I don't feel like this is a difficult transformation. You're doing your thing, you know? You're feeling like you're feeling now when you're watching the reading. You're doing your thing. And all of a sudden, like, this just comes into your life, like, from nowhere. Like, you just meet the person. One day you just meet the person that's going to give you something. Like I said, a tip of, of uh, maybe a tip about the job. And you're like, yeah, and, and then you, you get, like, a job that uh, changes your life in one way or another. Uh, yeah, I keep saying meeting something. Some of you, if you're single, maybe you're going to meet the love of your life or like a, maybe a friend or something that really uh, is kind of uh, affecting you in some way. Hmm. So yeah, many scenarios here. But one thing is for sure, you're going to celebrate. You're going to be happy. So let's also so let's look at some tarot cards here as well. Hmm. And I, I like I strongly feel like there is uh, conclusions <laughs> to your like if, if you have any problems in your life if you have anything that's not working I feel like that is solving and I think for for some of you, it's been something big you know that you needed that has been like not missing somehow missing in your life. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We have three of wands. Yeah. <laughs> you are moving forward into the future. I kind of want to fix the cards just a bit. I didn't see how, how it looked like until now. So let's just make some room. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So three of wands. The sun. Yeah. Something really good is coming right towards you coming right towards you and I think it's going to make a big impact in your life in your well-being hmm. Hmm. and you have king of cups I mean wow <laughs> good choice pile number one I mean this is your energy I mean yeah so we're reading your energy so yeah I mean king of cups you're gonna like feel you're about something big is about to happen to you here so if you're going through something stressful like you know uh, if you're in the dark here or if you're struggling with something and you really cannot see how this is going to solve, I, I would just say, like, <laughs> don't uh, uh, don't worry. Yeah, I would like to say don't worry. Just, just give it some time and patience here. I think, like, they are really working here, your spirit guides, to help you solve this five of sword yeah you know there it's like it's not necessary to make this into like a mental problem <laughs> like uh, um with the five of swords you know worrying 
it feels like there is no need to worry. For some of you, I really feel like this is going to help you release the worry because it's easy to say, don't worry, you know, but if we're really, if something really happened or if some, we were lacking something or if we're not feeling good, of course, you know, it's, it's difficult to let go of the worries. But uh, I'm telling you that I, I really feel like your spirit guides are, like they have it under control. They can see what you need. They can see, yeah, they can see what you need and they are bringing it to you. If, if it's healing, if it's something physical, like if it's like a new job or a home or whatever situation you are in, I really feel like they are really, really working to fix this for you. Hmm. Conclusions are within reach. So that means also that it's, it's coming soon. The full moon eclipse, you know, full moons are pretty intense, but they also reveal like a lot of things. So there's going to be like, a big conclusion coming and it can be like it, it can be that you are really like in a bad situation and the the day after like one day you just wake up you you see, see an email and you just got an offer that just solves everything for you or something like that and I also feel for some of you this is going to be like a spiritual release or an upgrade so if you feel like you you don't resonate with needing something on the material plane on the earthly plane i think this is going to be something like like i said it's like something is opening up in your third eye your crown chakra your ears your throat like a spiritual upgrade yeah because we have dolphin and atlantis here so i really feel for you who yeah it's like an like an ascension or a spiritual awakening and probably you had maybe you had many spiritual awakenings but I really feel like you're stepping in, into the light here something is happening with your mind here we have the air element on the moth it feels like your mind is transforming and becoming much lighter we had a one week span lifespan yeah on the moth and that really makes me think yeah because we had that i think this is going to be like a pretty quick transformation or transition here so i feel like something is coming to save you the spirit guides are working to save you, which sounds so strange, but yeah, they want you to they want to save you by helping you release something and with that also gain something. Uh, you know, gain happiness, bliss, uh, joy, emotional contentment. Maybe you need something to move forward in your life. Yeah. So yeah, you, you can't see this coming. Maybe it's coming from a week from now because we said a week. So yeah, maybe it's happening within a week. Hmm. And also because the moth doesn't eat. So if some of you, maybe it could be good to do like a little detox or something like that, you know, because yeah, I, I don't know, something with your digestion could be good to do like a little bit of detox to help. I don't know the energies a bit. Hmm. Meditate, do a detox. So if it, if that resonates for you, of course, otherwise, yeah, you, you just don't do it. <laughs> I think still they're working here uh, to help you out in your favor. Let's do... I think just two more cards here. Yeah, I want to do that one and also that one. So we have the Hero Fant and Nine of Wands. Hmm. You know, the Hero Fant and Nine of Wands, you know, the Hero Fant is pretty, you know, <laughs> uh, structured, it's certain beliefs. And the Nine of Wands is also kind of, you know, standing firm. So we have two cards, like really, I think, you know, I think, so there's I feel like this is kind of symbolizing some kind of a wall you know with the hero friend and nine the ones yeah some kind of wall so I feel like there there is there is a blockage in your life there is a blockage in your life and I really feel like this energy that comes here this high energy comes here which is your spirit guys you know they are working with you I really feel like they are going to break this down yeah I took another card here Pedro swords yeah so yeah it, it's going to it's going to st crumble. They're going to crumble down this blockage for you. And with that, open up a new door for you. And with that, also this opportunity that comes in and helps you move on. The thing that you need or wanted. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Pile number one. So this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile one. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.
Hello, part two, and welcome to your reading. So let's start with your oracle cards here. And you felt drawn to the black egg. That's interesting. I think it stands for the uh, throat chakra and like truth, authentic authenticity in the book. Let's just put it here. Higher truth, higher truth, yeah. Hmm. You have the mask. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> you know, an egg when it, it kind of, you know, the egg is the, what is it called? The, oh, the sh shell, you know, the egg has a shell <laughs> and, you know, it has a, like a top layer. And then when you crack it, there's something else inside of it. But also the mask here, it's the same, you know, the mask is also hiding something that is behind it. It makes me feel like something is, there's something deeper here. There's something deeper here that I feel like your spirit guides wants to reveal today. So let's see what that can be. You have transformation. Hmm. Something deeper hidden. You also have, you are close to achieve your goal. You're, you're very close to achieving your goal. Very close even. You're very close to achieving your goal. The transformation, the egg is going to crack. The egg is going to crack. The mask is going to fall off. The truth is going to be revealed. Hmm. Cat. Wow. Speak your truth. <laughs> That's amazing because we've got the throat chakra here uh, with black egg. So it says, have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. Wow. The cat also makes me think of like independence, magic, psychic powers. So you're very close to achieving your goal. Wow, I think, like, I just feel like success. I feel like you're winning something here. <laughs> like, I feel like there is a big win for you here. And uh, I feel like it's been, like, with transformation here. Yeah, so you've been on some kind of journey here or you're, you've been dealing with something specific. And it has been the mask. It has been difficult. Yeah, of course, with the mask here. It feels like something has, hmm... Like it didn't want to go deeper or something was in the way for you to move forward. Like I feel like the mask was kind of in your way to move forward or to go deeper. And uh, with the gibbous moon, I feel like you are... Let's see here. Let's see what else we got. Wow, we have a black dahlia. New might and black dahlia, the void. Ego shattering, soul fragments and emptying. So the mask, yeah, it could be like you're releasing a part of yourself. You're releasing a part of yourself, the void, the black egg. There's a lot of like, and also I choose the crow tarot to this pile. So it was very fitting here. So big transformations or a big transformation here, revelation. Hmm. And I feel like you're about to go like deeper deeper into your own authenticity, deeper into your independence and maybe even winning. I don't keep hearing maybe you're winning a fight or winning a conflict or winning like a competition, winning some, I keep getting like winning something. You're, you're, yeah, you're winning. <laughs> so if there is a struggle here, it could even be like you're struggling with yourself. You know, it's your ego on one side and your authentic self on another side. And you're like, yeah, I want to let go. And your ego is like, yeah, no, let's not let go. Or something like that, like an inner fight. Yeah, it could be like an inner fight going on here. And I feel like if, if it's an inner fight or if it's something going on in your life that you have some kind of conflict with somebody in your life, I feel like you're winning. Whatever it, Whatever is going on, you are the winner here. <laughs> Doesn't mean that somebody has to be the loser, but you're going to feel like you won this. And with this, with the cat here, it's like, it feels like you're standing here on the podium and, you know, with the sun and feeling confident and like successful. Confident and successful. Hmm. So we have winning. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's insane <laughs> succeeding victory outcomes i mean yeah i mean that is insane <laughs> i didn't see this card until now so yeah winning yeah you're winning something you are conquering something you are winning something so your spirit guides really like they're telling you don't worry you know you're gonna win this you know don't worry maybe it doesn't look so bright right now but don't worry about it. it's coming here and uh, hmm I feel like you, I feel like you as a person have been going through a, a change or a growth because of this challenge that you had. And I feel like, yeah, I, I want to say like you, your your voice, like, I don't know if you, I mean, maybe you need to scream. I, I think like it's very important that you find your voice and... Uh, I think you're you're going to find your voice. I think your your spirit guides are kind of like saying it's kind of funny how to see you. <laughs> I feel like they're saying, yeah, it's been kind of funny to see you not have your voice because they're saying you are one you are a very powerful soul. You're, they're saying, but it has been some kind of karma that you've dealt with, or like a conflict or karma that you dealt with in this lifetime, where I feel like your boundaries have been tested, and. Uh, your independence has been threatened threatened or something like that so uh, it could even be like fighting with some authority authorical figure or people having masks you know fake people or something like that and I feel like you've been kind of in drawn into something like containing those themes and I really feel like you are breaking the it feels like you are the black egg you know it feels like you are you're you you're <laughs> and i keep feeling like they're kind of like laughing a bit but kind of in the like yeah you know angels they always laugh you know uh, hi spiritual guys they're always laughing you know this joy this they are baiting on joy and bliss so there's always laughter and and you know love you know coming from them so i really feel like yeah you are so powerful, you know, it's it's funny to see you struggling with certain things on earth because as a soul, you know, you are such a powerful soul and you are very strong in your truth. So, but I think it has been some kind of lesson that you had to go through here with truth, authenticity, boundaries, independence, freedom. And you did that now. And the void, whew, I think something is like it, it feels like you are it feels like you're done yeah it feels like you're done now there, you you went through some big lesson and I feel like that is done and you are coming out winning as a winner succeeding victory outcomes you are very close to achieving your goal so yeah I mean I mean it's happening now it's happening now whatever it is that you wanted to happen is happening i think one big bonus here i think something maybe that you don't like expect here is how you are returning to your natural state <laughs> of being very confident and authentic as a soul so i think that is also happening here and uh, i feel like your voice is going to be very strong because i feel like as a soul like i said you have a very strong voice you have a very strong connection to truth i don't know how the card ended up today but i guess it's like this because <laughs> i moved everything so let's just go with that who cares <laughs> so yeah i'm picking out some cards here for you yes do this one so okay let's just see how this goes yeah you have room for one more here let's do one more <laughs> usually i do five also so I differ. <laughs> so yeah, everything looks a bit strange. Yeah, and normally I'm a bit of a perfectionist, you know, and I'm, I'm even a bit auti autistic. So it's very like order and like things like this is very important to me. I get stressed, but apparently not. So I feel like something big is changing within you. Like you're changing a lot as a person. And this could be like a surprise for you. Like all of a sudden you are reacting totally different or all of a sudden you are you are testing your new voice. All of a sudden you are like... Uh, standing up for yourself in a new way you're like wow was that me <laughs> so yeah I feel like uh, you are getting to know who you are at a soul level and I keep feeling like your guides are like yeah you're in it for a surprise you're pretty awesome <laughs> that's kind of like what I feel here but there's some big win also that I keep feeling that you are they, they keep talking about that like there's a big win uh and like a big win or a struggle so like something big that you have been dealing with for a while maybe your whole life i feel 
for some of you, it could be like a big ego debt. For some of you, like I said, it could be conflict or a situation or something like that. I feel like that is about to solve and you're about to win over that. Succeed. Celebrate that. But there's also something big that happened with you where I feel like whew, you're about to know your power and your strength. And I think like uh, I, I have no idea where the universe is. It kind of feels like your spirit guides are like you're, you're on your way. I see you walking through like a... I see you walking into the void and I see like a black gate, black golden gate. We have so much black and gold in here. So yeah, black golden gate. And I feel like you're walking into something so new uh, that it's going to sh sh shock you a bit, but in a, in a good way. It's like you finding out who you really are. Yeah, it's you finding out who you really are. And it's going to be some shocking... Uh, insights and revelations about yourself but I feel like more I don't feel like I, there's no fear or something like that just like I feel uh, I feel excited actually <laughs> yeah I feel excited actually but it's like you're getting it you're getting you're it's ready for you it's ready you're ready to to get in a deeper connection with who you really are at the soul level so I feel like that is going on here and one big obstacle that has been in the way here is this conflict or situation or struggle or whatever this is that you've been dealing with for a long time or maybe it's come up now but it, it has to go so it kind of feels like two things here <laughs> you're letting that go which is kind of on the surface level it kind of in the end it's not that important it was some kind of karma that you needed to deal with I feel like, yeah, that's not so important. And then after I see you doing a deep dive into the void and getting like a deeper connection with who you are, your life purpose, what you're supposed to do. For some of you, wow, there's going to be some big revelations about you as a soul. This dep depends completely on how spiritual you are and how spiritually interested you are. So the more spiritually interested you are, like if you're meditating and things like that, whew, I think you're in it for some kind of like big, like really like big uh, experiences and uh, insights and, and like, uh, what is it called? Oh, I heard that word. Satori. Yeah, Satori. Satori is like when you have a moment of enlightenment, you know, a moment of enlightenment. Uh, so dissolving, completely dissolving into the void here. So yeah, a lot of things going on here. Let's see here what we got. We have two of pentacles. I don't know why I started here. I wanted to start here. Let's just go like this. Yeah, let's jump here and there. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so yeah, it's been a bit chaotic, you know. Uh, Three of Pentacles. So yeah, maybe it's been a bit chaotic. So I feel like things are going to fall into place. There's like two things. There's one thing going on on the surface. And then there's one thing, like a deeper thing going on with you. And I feel like these two words are supposed to become one. They're supposed to be become balanced now. And in this, you're finding your master, you're finding your path again. So I feel like maybe you were a bit lost in your path or there's been like a lot of, what do you call, distractions on your path. And now I feel like this, the, the distraction and one big distraction here is like you are ending that you're achieving, you're, you're finishing that off, you're letting go of that as a winner. And with that the things becomes more balanced here again and i feel like you're finding your true path yeah look at that temperance i mean perfect <laughs> balance harmony is coming here into your life so we have also <clears throat> nine of pentacles yeah independence hmm independence abundance hmm feeling like you have you're you're on the right track yeah feeling like you're on the right track so i feel like I feel like your life, I don't know if it's been scattered or if you've been having distract, distractions, but it feels like everything is coming together again and you're going to walk on one path and I hear the right path. Yeah, one path, the right path. I don't think there's any wrong paths, but they say the right path, so let's just go with that. And you have four of pentacles. Yeah, four of pentacles, you know, <laughs> one path. 
uh, yeah, that kind of for me it confirmed one path. With, maybe it sounds strange for you if you know the card of Four of Pentacles, but that was my interpretation right now, you know, because it's holding on to its coins, it's holding on to something. So I feel like they're they are trying here, your spirit guides, or they're, they're going to help you here, your spirit guides and your higher self. It's like you're finishing things off here. There's this big win that we've been talking about, and then they're taking you. Whoosh, on the right path and then you're going to move forward on the right path the path that is continuously leading you to some kind of abundance and freedom and success and also kind of you know with your mastery here like life purpose you doing something that you're meant to do you're doing something some, that you're meant to do so i feel like there is a new door here opening up and i wouldn't say just like a new door i would say like a new life yeah it's like a new life opening up for you and i see you walking away you know on this straight path i see like a big kind of like very stable you know and it's very long actually when i look at the path it's very long <laughs> so i feel like this is you're gonna be there's something that you're going to get in touch with that you're supposed to do kind of for the rest of your life maybe it's kind of like something you're meant to create or something with your career or something else maybe a spiritual path but i see like yeah this is the path you're supposed to walk on i see long 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 path it goes it goes all the way up to the universe so let's not go there <laughs> yeah it's like a never-ending path so yeah it was so strange to see it so anyways uh looking good yeah it looks good hmm let's see if we can see something else here all right let's do two more cards actually so let's see see if we can get some more information or just some last message yeah i want to do this one it's sticking out here wheel of fortune yeah <laughs> so destiny destiny is coming destiny is coming for you your spirit team is helping you now helping you get in touch with your destiny five of cups by letting go of the past it's been very yeah I, I i know i don't want to minimize what you've been going through in the past but it's like it's done now i mean yeah and it wasn't it was it was in your destiny as well to deal with those things that you you like I say could be like karmic karmic imbalances that you needed to deal with so it was in your destiny to deal with but it, they were not they were kind of shallow things you know that had to do like with uh, you know past karma you know stuff like that now I feel like deeper things are coming to you more important things and the most important thing more fun things you know more exciting things going on you know your path towards abundance independence and freedom I mean that's nice that's fun and the last card here is four of uh, wands celebration yeah look at that so there's seems to be another person also on this path and you're kissing here <laughs> so yeah maybe you are sharing path with someone or maybe you're meeting somebody on this path the four of, of wands also shows that stability is coming here so like i said here it feels like it's a bit scattered you have some things to deal with here and maybe there and there and here and there and maybe one big thing like we talked about but i really feel like all the puzzles all the fragments are kind of balancing out and you're like whoop you're on the right path and there is going to be stability success and abundance here and also with somebody sharing this path with somebody and maybe if you don't have somebody maybe meeting somebody along the path you know a, a divine love or something like that that you're meant to share the path with some of you are going to live with your friend i just heard that so yeah maybe some of you are sharing friends with a friend or friends you know like some kind of community or something like that but i see like a lot of happiness and joy around you yeah some of you are like i really see you like kind of in some kind of community maybe that has to do with your path here that i saw whatever it is it's like it's not just like you're walking on the path towards freedom, success, and abundance. I also see like, it's not like the goal is that. I see like the path in itself is going to give you that continuously. So you keep getting like good things. Like when we're living our life purpose, it's it's bound to give us some good results there and then otherwise you know it's not it's not that fun is it <laughs> you know if the rewards comes you know after a year or two or three no when we're living our life purpose it's very nice you know it gives us a lot of contentment and joy and abundance you know and help financially and things like that so i feel like this is all these things are on this path for you and you dealt with a lot of things you know you dealt with a lot of I, I, shitty things even in your life so i feel like yeah uh now it's uh 
you're finishing this off and you're ready now. You're ready now to go forward into a more happy life. <laughs> so, hmm. Okay, pile number two. So this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile three and welcome to your reading. So let's just put your tarot deck to the side and we're going to start here with your oracle cards and you felt drawn to the frog. Hmm. Water element. It's also raining here over the frog. It's actually a very peaceful card here. Hmm. And look at that. You guys see that? The sun is coming in here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the sun is coming here. The sun is entering your life. Very peacefully entering your life. The medallion. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> the sun kind of looks like the sun here in the background with the yellow and it's coming. You're reaching out to it here. So, hmm. The medallion. Okay. I think this is going to be a very positive reading. We have patience. Hmm. I, I don't know if it kind of looks like another sun. It could be a moon. So, patience. It's flying right towards you here. Hmm. Patience. And we have work through your fears. The new moon in Scorpio. I, I, I feel like your spirit guides, first thing that they're saying is like, yeah. Hmm. There is. So strange. <laughs> The medallion here is kind of what really catches my eye. That feels like it, it has nothing to do with the fears here. So you know what? It's like, <laughs> what you know, your fears is not going to affect the end result. So it could be that you're working with something or you're waiting for something. You know, patience, waiting for something or working with something. And you have a lot of fears in your mind, I think. Or you have a lot of fears. I really feel like... Your fears, whatever you're thinking, is not going to affect the end result. You know, it's like unaffected. This is like, um, this is like a success that cannot be uh, affected by, you know how we always say, you know, you manifest your own reality by the thoughts that you're thinking, by the vibration that you're holding. But this thing has its own life. This thing here <laughs> that you're waiting for, and that you're p being patient for it it's like it, nothing worldly not even yourself not even your own fears not even you being in a bad vibration not even you you know lower your there's nothing like a bad vibration you know it's just the feelings and it, thoughts coming and going but you know as uh, when we have we need to vibrationally match what it is we want to attract but for you i think this this is like this no i just feel like this is going to be yours whatever you do whatever somebody else does this is just so protected and it is just like kind of i kind of feel like this is something magical <laughs> what is this we don't even know what this is a medallion something magical something so protected by the divine and I feel like it's sacred. Nothing can mess with this. Not even the angels. Not even nothing. So I don't know what it is. But it feels like, yeah, nothing can take this away from you. So if you're worried, there's no need to worry. And it's fine if you worry and you're, you're worried that your worry is making you push this away or not attracting this. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> because this thing here is unaffected by all types of energies especially fears somebody's trying to take something away from you they can't this is like untouchable there's something untouchable here that is yours that is yours it's coming with the sun you know we had the sun the sun it's not here anymore maybe it's gonna come back but yeah so it shows glimpses maybe it's show maybe you're seeing glimpses of this maybe you're sensing this or you're, you're getting glimpses of this uh, success or this experience or whatever this is realization i don't know what it is here you're seeing glimpses of that and then the rest of the time yeah you're dealing with <laughs> with a lot of fears maybe or you know you're the new moon in scorpio uh could be that you're not seeing it you know 
yeah, you are not maybe, hmm. But you're getting like little glimpses maybe of, or you're sensing it, like I said, that this is coming or this is yours. Some of you, maybe you've been sensing this for a long time. Hmm. Let's see the rest of the cards. Very exciting reading here. Raven, wise woman, a change is coming. So yeah, this feels like very secretive. You know, you have both the Scorpio and the Raven here and the frog. The frog makes me think of combo medicine. And uh, combo is like a frog in the jungle. You use the venom to um, purify the body. It's pretty intense. <laughs> it's a pretty intense experience, actually. It really is like, yeah, it's pretty in intense experience. So anyways, uh, but it's very cleansing. I, I really like working with combo. It's like super duper duper cleansing. So cleansing, hmm, you're cleansing. Wise woman, a change is coming. Wise woman, woman, feminine energy receiving. You're going to receive this. It's 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 coming towards you or it's waiting for you. It kind of feels like it's not moving. This card feels like it's not movable. It's like a it's it's standing here like deeply rooted. So it's like more that you are going there than it that than that this thing is coming towards you. Because patience, I feel like the bird is flying towards the medallion. And somehow I felt like the medallion kind of feels like you. So, hmm. And even the raven is flying towards the medallion. And the frog is looking at the medallion. Even the Scorpio's face is turned towards the medallion. Everybody's going toward the medallion. <laughs> so the medallion seems to be very important. What is the medallion? Secrets. Whisper confidences sharing. Yeah, we have a fox also here. So secret. Hmm. A secret revealed by your spirit guides. So yeah, I'm not getting any, any more clever of this. Yeah, this seems to be like a very secret, secretive secret here. Let's see the last card here. Let's put this here. Petalite, cosmic downloads, higher heart healing, see the bigger picture. Hmm. Higher heart healing. See the bigger picture. Hmm. I feel like... You know what I feel like? <laughs> I feel like your spirit guide saying it's not about the thing that you want. The thing that you want, you don't have to work for it. You don't have to manifest it. It is there waiting for you. But the thing that is the thing here, it's you are going through a transformation and a cleansing. You are working maybe through your fears or you need to work through, to your, through your fears to be able maybe to see this secrets because... It's not even hidden. That's the thing. It's kind of like I, it's it's right there. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I'm saying because I, we kind of there's no kind of like uh, <laughs> we get a lot of information, but we still don't really know what it is here. But it kind of feels like the thing that you want, or something maybe you don't even know that you want is something that is meant for you. Something big, you know, with a medallion. Something ancient, even. Doesn't it look like an ancient medallion with some kind of script? In, what is it called? It kind of like feels like it's inscripted. Let's see here. I can bring it as close as I can. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. This worked. Kind of feels like there's some kind of inscripture here. So, and, and it has like a stone in the middle as well. So, kind of maybe it's going to activate something in you. So, hmm. Yeah, maybe you don't even know this. The medallion <clears throat> but there's a hand reaching out here there's a hand reaching out maybe you've been sensing something and you've been trying to find it <laughs> you've been trying to find something you maybe you've been seeking for something and you don't even know what it was that you were seeking and it's it's like right in front of you it is like right there in front of you maybe you're moving right towards it now you know patience frog <sighs> cosmic downloads secrets Let's do some tarot cards. This was a very interesting reading. Wise woman, a change is coming. Hmm. Work through your fears. So yeah, <clears throat> if you've been going through some dark things, I feel like you're on your way out of that. And your patience with... I heard sacrifice also. So may maybe some of you sacrificed like a lot of things in your life. Yeah, maybe you had to sacrifice... Thanks. Hmm. Sacrifice. So I feel like anyways, your patience is going to pay it off. I feel like you're going straight towards the medallion here. 
you're so close. I mean, your hand is reaching out there. The frog is even looking right at it. So part of you kind of sees this and another part of you, I don't know. <laughs> this was a very <laughs> mysterious reading. Yeah, very mysterious reading. Hmm. See the bigger picture. I think it's going to be clarified for you. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. What we got? We have three of wands. Hmm. Even this tree of wands card, you know, there's a snake here. It's pretty like a red. You're in the desert. You had to go through the whole desert to find this. You've been looking for something. You've been looking for this. And what, what you have been looking for has always been there, ready to you receiving it. But there is, there is a little bit left here, you know, your hand doesn't really fully reach out here. So I feel like one thing that I feel like with patience, have some patience, don't worry that you're going to lose this. It's not losable. <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing can make this shake. I really feel like it's standing right there. Three of Wands, the star, wow. There's something big. It's going to be something very, very big. Hmm. Death, wow. The star and death. And the last card here, 10 of Pentacles. Yeah, wow, it's going to give you like, a, a, yeah, but it's like an ancient medallion with some sacred scripture in it. So of course it's going to give you something it's going to give you something big. Hmm. Let's see this card. Let's just like like, like that card is like sticking up a bit. <coughs> Six of Pentacles. <coughs> yeah, it makes me think like you're getting ready to receive this. You're getting ready to receive this. Hmm. I want to do one more card. The Emperor. And let's do one last here also. Five of Swords. Hmm. I felt. I feel like. Yeah. You know what? Pile number three. Whatever this is. So I'm sorry. We didn't get information. So, but whatever this is, it's like. Yeah. I think this. This reading is mine as well. So that's why. You know. I'm also like. Hmm. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, whatever this is, you've been searching and seeking this for like many, many lifetimes. This has been like, it could be like, if you know what this is, it's like, it's very important for you to get this. It's very important for you. You've been like, like with the emperor here, it feels like, yeah, you've been, you've been very determined to find this. You've been seeking lifetimes after lifetimes for this. Hmm. And... You've been walking through deserts. <laughs> you've been looking in the deserts. You've been looking in the stars. You've been going through the most dark places to look, to find this. And I think actually what you were seeking was yourself. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so I think the medallion, what I feel here, what I think you're going to find, maybe for some of you it resonated with something else that came into your mind. And then that's the truth for you. But uh, for many of you, I think you're finding yourself a lost part of your sacred self your higher heart is opening up the higher heart is the one connected to the higher self the soul like a higher you know the heart we have the heart chakra and the higher heart chakra so just think of the heart chakra but kind of on a cosmic level <laughs> so i feel like what you're finding is yourself here your patience is going to be paid off and I feel like you maybe you don't even know this but you in many 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 lifetimes you know it takes a lot to find ourselves you know this they say like to get fully enlightened you have to like live with, like really like uh, seek and uh, meditate for a thousand lifetimes or something like that I don't know if that's completely true but anyways let's leave that behind so but I see you like many lifetimes you tried you search you even search in the totally wrong places for something at, at one time you didn't even know what you were searching you just knew you were searching for something so what i feel here is like it's so close now look how close it is you can almost touch it here with your fingertips so whatever you're doing like if you're really facing your fears we had a scorpio here uh, i think you should keep doing that but also you know how we haven't worked through your fears and we have a new moon so it could have, could it even be like there is going to be like a new face of your transformation, you know, with the new moon. New moon is a pretty fresh energy. You know, the new moon stands kind of for manifestation and abundance, you know, it's a fresh energy. 
So could it be that you're going to wise woman, the way you are transforming now. And even the frog, I felt like it was a peaceful rain here. Even if combo is like a pretty intense experience, like I said, working with the, the frog medicine here. <clears throat> so it kind of feels like wise woman, it's like your way of transforming, your way of dealing with things has changed like a lot, like a lot, lot. It's like you became the queen or king of death, which sounds so strange, <laughs> but it's not in a negative sense. You know, death is transformation. Everything dies and gets reborn. You know, death and rebirth is in our everyday life continuously all the time. You know, uh, there's always something dying and then getting reborn. Like you just look at the nature, you know, every day, you know, I look out, I see an apple fall from a tree. So there's nothing wrong, but I think like, you maybe, I feel like you mastered yourself in one way. You, ma you have mastered yourself in one way. And I really think like maybe this lifetime really put you up for some tests and wise woman. It feels like, yeah, now you are so much wiser. You can even be a man, of course, but yeah, now you became so much wiser. But woman here makes me think of the feminine energy. So it feels like you're more uh, in surrender. You are handling the transformation so much better and the changes in your life the transitions in your life so much better. And I think you got rid like a lot of a lot of things. And I really think it's been a whole journey for you many, many lifetimes. Who is, I really see at times you were so lost. You were so on the wrong path, <laughs> but <clears throat> there is no wrong paths. You know, you went there and you're like, yeah, this was not right. So then you learned in the next lifetime, you didn't go there anymore. So you, some places you never go because you have learned that. But what, what we want to get to is like, you're so close now. You are so close now. And uh, you're going to get this now. It's just here. It is just here. So yeah, patience. You don't even have to focus on it. It's just going to happen. You know, it's like when a ripe uh, apple, when an apple is ripe, it just falls from the tree. We don't have to shake the tree, you know, to make the apple fall. It's just going to fall. So it feels like you are, you are going to crash land into this. You're going to fall right into this. Or this is going to fall right into your lap. And whatever this is. So for some of you, yeah, maybe, like I said, you've been, I think yourself, because also I heard love. So for some of you, you've been seeking love. You wanted to understand love or something else. You wanted to understand something. You were seeking for the full experience of something. And this was very important for your soul to do that. Very important. Because you kept doing it lifetime after lifetime. You ended up searching for this. Hmm. And now it's going to fall into your lap. It's going to give you everything that you wanted. Everything that you didn't even know that you wanted. Because I feel like, yeah, you had to go like through a lot of things to understand this fully and completely. To be able to fully and completely uh, really experience this, whatever this is. Um, from, yeah, to be fully, to be able to experience it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're just going to take one last card because I feel like we're going to end with one card. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> you've been working hard. You have been working hard and it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. And I, I feel like I want to say, like, keep going. It's going to, like I said, when the apple is ripe, it's just going to fall. So I think if you just keep working, keep doing what you're doing, it's you're, you're going to land. You're going to just end up there. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's in your destiny. It's in your sacred plan. It's been in your plan for lifetimes, lifetimes, lifetimes. And now you are ready to receive this. It's like you're just there. Look at your hand here. You're just reaching out to this. So I think it's just going to come like the sun came in here. The rain is falling here. One day it's just going to be there. And you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah, to the full. With the Ten of Pentacles, you're never going to seek. You're never going to have to seek for that ever again. It's going to... Be yours and for some of you this was the last thing that you needed to complete before you kind of were done with your incarnation cycles here on earth so i think some of you are not coming back yeah this was the one thing that you needed your last thing that you needed to achieve hmm. 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 okay pile three so this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile three i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye